Okay, so you will need to go to Pages, Add New, and this is going to be your world of learning journey. We are going to open up Divi, and you'll go to Full Width, uh, and you're going to add up at the top a, you can see right there, um, the module that you're going to insert is Full Width Header, uh, and this allows us to have just a really nice title up at the top. Um, so it, it also allows us to immediately link to information that the viewer is going to need. So any information that you have about the organization that you are working with goes there and your second button will go to your About Me page. Okay, so uh, you'll need to add those two links. And of course you can customize uh, this module, if you want to create a logo, just like we did for our science project, you can create a logo for yourself. Maybe it's just your initials, uh, if you'd like to do that. And of course, this module also it looks really great when you add in a video background. And the link to Pexel's video is in the post. So I suggest finding something that reminds you of the specific job that you are undertaking, or in this example, I've selected a short video that signifies that it's a journey. So once I upload that, I've already added the text for my buttons. Um, and again, you can, you can customize everything just the same way that you did with your FIB science project. And you thought about a color scheme, you might want to think about a color scheme for this project as well. Okay. So um, again, I can, I can set the background here if I would like. You're more than welcome to, uh, again, maybe just think about a color scheme of two or three colors that you want to be consistent through the design. And I'm just showing you here that I can have it be, I can have a, a scroll down button um, I can customize the color of that scroll down button. Now that you're getting a little bit more familiar with the Divi Builder, you know that there are a range of options that you have to choose from, um, and so you can go ahead and design accordingly. The most important thing to remember, though, is that you're picking text color and background color that is readable. So those buttons aren't easy for me to read because it's white text over a white background. So I'm just going to go in and change the color of the button so that, again, it's just a little bit easier on the eyes for my reader. So I do that and then I'm going to repeat that process so you can see, great, now the buttons are legible, uh, everything is clear and easy to read. Okay, so that's the start. Um, you can see what that, that looks like on the page. That looks quite nice. There's the scroll down button. And now it's time for us to set up the modules where we will add all of our content. So I am going to choose the, the two columns, half and half. And on the left-hand side, I'm selecting the number counter module. Um, so think about a number that's really specific for this project. It might be the days on the job. It might be the hours that you feel you have spent preparing for this. It might be the number of people who have helped you to find uh, this internship. And on the right-hand side, yet again, we are using the audio module. So the audio module is going to be you recording your answers to the initial reflection questions. A reminder that I've linked the slides in for you so that um, it's easy for you to find them. We've already practiced uh, customizing the audio module. So I have, I've gone to Pixabay and I've found an image that I can use as an overlay there. You might want to actually use a picture of your workplace. So here's the questions. And again, you're going to, you should already have some notes on these. So your audio recording is you answering all of these questions in roughly three to four minutes. So take some time if you haven't organized your notes already so that your audio clip itself is coherent, you're articulate, it's nice and clear. So do the thinking before you actually go ahead and record yourself talking those through. Okay, and onwards to the next section in this page. So we're going to add another module. And yet again, uh, we'll add half and half. So I am selecting here the gallery. 
So if you've not used the image gallery, you can see you can set the number of images that you would like to show. Uh, you can again customize the background. So this is going to be the gallery images that document your process. Uh, and remember, they don't have to be pictures just of you at your, your workplace, but they could also be any pictures of notes that you've taken or um, any screenshots, again, of your planning. But this is you trying to make uh, it very visible in terms of the work that you've done and the work that you will be doing. So I can add to the gallery here. And just to show you, you can either decide to have those images in a specific order, or I've ticked random order there. I don't want that one in. Um, and now I have a nice gallery of images. Okay, so the next module on the right-hand side is going to be call to action. This is another one that we've worked with. And this is where you're going to set up the rest of your evidence of learning. So my recommendation would be Either this is going to, the button itself will link over to a Padlet or to Google Slides where you are adding in all of the evidence pieces. Um, and again, the evidence itself is, the, the list of what those items are is also linked in on our slide. So again, it might be a Padlet, it might be Google Slides, but you're using something where you can embed all of the different pieces of evidence to clarify and show us the evidence. So here again is that list of what might be included as part of your evidence of learning. Okay, um, and again a reminder, call to action module has lots of different ways that you can go ahead and customize. I would remind you to have a consistent color scheme throughout your design. So we are nearly done. So again, that is going to take us over to the evidence of learning. And we just have a few steps left. So you have more reflection questions. Uh, and this is what you will actually do as an interview with another FIB student. So this module is going to be a video module. So you can pick your partner. You'll sit together, you'll uh, ask one another those questions, and then I go add module. This one is just going to be one column. And the video module of you and your partner talking those questions through goes there. Um, if you want to do the video uh, all in one go, you can do that, or you can just be interviewed add that video, and then interview the partner, and they would upload that video. It's up to you. But I will mention yet again, think about the questions, take a few notes before you sit down and actually do the video recording. Um, and again, you can choose an image overlay that uh, will be over top of that module. That's another nice customization. Okay, so we're down to the final two modules, and they are both going to be toggle modules. So the first one is going to be the link over to your CV. And remember, once you customize one toggle module, you can copy it. I've not done that there. I'm just going to add it um, again. And the second toggle module is you thinking ahead. Uh, again, the link to the essential skills employers need in 2020 is also part of the original post. It's you talking through which of those skills you think you're going to have the opportunity to use in your world of work. Okay, so the sample with all of the modules is there for you to use. Good luck. I hope that your journey with World of Learning goes really well.